have an exciting video plan for you today. Today we're going to master handstand and when we master handstand we start with a preparatory pose called L pose at the wall. It teaches us how to bear weight and it also gives us the confidence to go upside down. So today we have five people with us who have studied alignment based yoga. They're going to serve as great models for you at home on how to get into L pose at the wall. So go ahead and get your mat out at the wall or if you have carpeting or a nice firm floor you don't need a mat at the wall but they've already set up their mats at the wall. They're sitting right up against the wall. You do the same thing where your bum's at the wall and your back's at the wall. So I'll let you get set up and then we'll take the next movement. Now from here you're going to take your hands where your heels were. So if you see everybody at the wall here they're going to come forward onto all fours and they're going to take the base of their palms to where their heels were. The position of your hand is going to be just like a downward facing dog. So your third finger is in alignment with your outer deltoid. That's your outer upper arm muscle and the hands are open. And look at the beautiful position. You see it all the way down this row that lends itself to nice muscle energy in the arms which we do need for an L pose at the wall. From here everyone's going to come up to a downward facing dog and you can have your heels at the wall in your downward facing dog. Eileen go ahead and take your hands a little wider. So I brought Eileen's hands just a little wider. If you're narrow at home you can bring your hands a little wider again. Third finger with outer deltoid. Now they're going to walk up the wall one leg at a time and when they come up the wall they're going to straighten their legs until the body is in an L shape. So you can see how this pose gets its name. Everyone's in a beautiful L shape. Go ahead and push your heels into the wall. Broaden your low belly and from there really firm your foundation. Well done. Eileen, walk your heels up a little bit more. Heels up. There we go. Look at these beautiful L poses. Great alignment here. Come on down and rest and rest in a child's pose. So when you come down and at home and rest in your child's pose, go ahead and really soak because we're going to take this a second time and I'm going to show you a variation. For our next variation, you're going to have the option at home of bringing one leg up toward the ceiling. So go ahead and start at the wall just as everyone has done in the middle of the room here. You'll start at the wall again. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to look where your heels are. You're going to come to all fours and you're going to place the palms where the heels were. So here we go. That gives you a good uh, measure of alignment to where, where to place your hands and we want the shoulders stacked and the hips stacked and the wrists stacked fairly evenly in this pose. From there come up to downward facing dog. Now they're going to walk up the wall in the same pose you did previously. They come into an L shape, a beautiful L shape. Push through the heels powerfully and then from there take one leg, your right leg, do the right leg up toward the ceiling. Flex your right foot and bring your right foot directly over the hip, not beyond. Your foot is likely to go, want to go over the hip you're going to bring it um, beyond the hip, you're going to bring it right over the hip and then switch it out to the other side. So the left leg comes up now, your foot is flexed, the left heel is directly over the hip and then you've got a beautiful advanced preparation for a handstand. Slowly come on down and rest in child's pose and then you get to dissolve and rest and soak. Now to be fair, this particular preparation is actually a little bit more challenging than a handstand. The reason is, is because you're bear, bearing weight strongly, but it's a really, really good pose to master, to get comfortable going upside down, to get accustomed to strongly using muscle energy. That's going to eventually give you the confidence to kick up at a handstand at the wall and we'll do that on another day. Happy inversions and subscribe here and you can go upside down to subscribe and hit the push button. Bye.